If you've been following Barcelona this season, you might have noticed that Barca have had a hard time creating chances and scoring goals. Their attack seems to have lost its fangs. So in this video we'll take a look at why that is the case and try to find an explanation for how mediocre Barca's attack has been. So let's just get right to it. The main reason why Barcelona's attack sucks right now is that this team lacks movement and depth in their play. This goes for every area in attack, so let's take a look at each one of them. At the right this season, Xavi has usually used either Rafinha or La Minimal. The problem with both of them is that they wait for the ball and then start trying to force something. Now, that is not always a bad idea, we've seen that Lamin Yamal can actually create danger that way very easily. But overall, you want these right wingers to make more runs in behind the defense. Rafinha is usually at his most dangerous when he makes runs in behind the defense, not when he's just sticking to his wing all the time. You simply want your right winger to make that run, but not only to create danger himself. When the right winger makes that run, one of the opponent's defenders needs to follow, creating a gap of space that can be exploited by creative players like Pedri or Dragoncello. So if the right winger is too stagnant, so will the general structure of your attack be. That is why Xavi should emphasize to Lamin Yamal and Rafinha that they not only have to try to take their man on, but also constantly look to try and make those runs. Next we head on to Lewandowski. Usually, one of the main duties of a striker is to try and make runs in behind the defense. Yet, we've not seen Lewandowski do that all too often this season. Often, he's just been waiting for the ball to be crossed into the box. He's not been the same player that Luis Suarez was back in his prime, for example. What typified Suarez was that he moved a lot. He constantly made runs in behind the defense. There's tons of goals that he scored that way. It is in Barcelona's DNA to have a striker that is ideal to play through balls to. Leandowski's specialty might be to wait for crosses and head the ball into the back of the net, but making runs is something that he either needs to improve on right now, or Barcelona needs someone else in that striker role. It is true that Ferran Torres isn't as natural of a striker as Lewandowski, that his finishing isn't as good as Lewandowski's, but he does make more runs in behind the defense. Ideally, Barcelona would have a player with the mobility of Ferran Torres combined with the killer instinct of Lewandowski. Could Vito Roque be that player? The young Brazilian will probably arrive in January, and he is known for being a mobile striker who makes a lot of runs in behind the defense. He is born in 2005, so we don't want to put too much pressure on him. But his profile is exactly what Barcelona need right now, and there is a chance that Barcelona start playing better once they have him on their hands. Lastly, it is time to talk about the left wing. Joao Felix should also make more runs in behind the defense. No, that's nonsense. Joao Felix isn't actually the type of player who needs to make those deep runs for Barca at the left. Joao Felix's role is to roam in between the left and the middle and to create goal-scoring opportunities. That is also something that Barcelona desperately need. If Joao Felix isn't on the pitch, the left side isn't dangerous at all. The hype around him has faded away a little, but he is still a crucial player for Xavi's system, and the danger in attack often comes from him. There is no other player in the squad who can play in that same role and be that creator in attack that this team needs to create enough opportunities, really. That being said though, you do want to have a player on the left who can actually make deep runs and who can keep the pitch wide, in order for there to be enough room for Joao Felix to create as well. That is where Alejandro Valde comes in. He is the player who needs to make those runs in behind the defense on the left. Just like with Laminha Mal and Rafinha, he has the problem that he waits for the ball to come to him too often. He'll often just stick to his side, wait for the ball, and then start to dribble. What he should do more, maybe, is to run in behind the defense to receive the ball there. In other words, he should make the Jordi Alba run more. Jordi Alba made runs in behind the defense all the time. You all know the typical run he made. That is what Balde should do more often as well, instead of just waiting for the ball. Now again, Balde can dribble very well, but with his pace it would be a waste of potential not to let him constantly make those runs. If you take a look at Barcelona's goal against Raya Vallecano in the weekends, you see why it is important that Balde makes runs in behind the defense. That is what Barcelona should do more often to be a constant danger, to have that depth in their play. All of the best Barcelona teams, they had this depth in their play. It was one of the key reasons why they were so hard to defend against. Barcelona's attack under Xavi this season has simply not been mobile enough. Both the right wingers and Alejandro Balde have waited for the ball too often when they should have been ruthlessly making runs in behind the defense. And Lewandowski as a striker hasn't been mobile enough either. If Barcelona start playing with more depth again, they will absolutely create more big chances as well. This is probably one of the main reasons why Barcelona's attack sucks right now. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca! Forza Barca's attack and have a good day.